Good morning, everyone. So, can I have everyone stand up if you think you are creative? All right, so almost everyone, that's fantastic. You can have a seat, thank you. <laughs> Just thought we'd get you moving here in the morning. So Tahir and I asked this question because we share a common belief. We believe that every individual has the power to be innovative and to create. This means that no matter how old you are, what hand you write with, or what part of the brain you use, you are all creative. We are all creative. Not only this, but Yannicka and I believe that when we are using our creativity, we are at the brink of creating change. Unfortunately, this is a belief not shared th by the majority of our population, and it is our goal to change that. My name is Yannicka Nyberg. I believe art has the universal power to create change in every corner of the world. I'm also one of the co-directors of Artquake. I'm Tahi Ahmed, and I believe in the extraordinary power that young people have. Yannick and I are co-founders of a local not-for-profit called Arcwake, where we empower youth to use their art to create change. So why do we believe that creativity and art are so important? Well, before answering that question, we would like to tell you a little bit about ourselves. So, taking Tahia here as an example. Tahia would be lost without her four calendars that all say the same thing. And her idea of taking a break is taking 10 minutes to create a to-do list. And unlike most people, once she's finished that list, she gets bored and creates a new list of things to do. So that is the doer in her. The dreamer in her is the person who keeps a notepad by her bedside table, just in case she wakes up in the middle of the night with a new idea of how to better engage our community and wishes to share it with me the next day. She is so passionate about her ideas that she doesn't rest until she sees them through, all the while sharing her ideas with everyone around her. She may not be your traditional artist who uses a canvas and a paintbrush. Instead, she threads her ideas into the fabric of our community. She is not your traditional artist, but Tahia is very much creative. Yannicka, on the other hand, expresses her creativity through intuition and energy. As a scatterbrain with endless curiosity, Yannicka can be best described as a connector. With her immense understanding of the diverse abilities that are present in our communities and the problems that need to be solved, Yannicka loves connecting people with the resources they need to create change. She isn't your traditional artist, but she is creative. So what Tahir and I are really trying to highlight here is that creativity does not always have to translate into an artistic ability, which unfortunately is a belief held by most of those who didn't stand up or those who do not believe that they are creative. At Artquake, art is extremely important because it is one of the many powerful ways that we express our creativity. And to be honest with you, to all those people who didn't stand up or who don't believe that they are creative, it is probably due to the fact that they have not had enough opportunities in their own lives to practice their creativity or to find their own personal medium, which is like their own personal art style. We think that too many people tell us that we shouldn't be creative. That doesn't mean that they actually walk up to us and say, hey, you shouldn't be creative. But the government tells us that we shouldn't be creative every time arts funding is cut to the programs in our cities. Our schools tell us that we shouldn't be creative when funding priority is given to the math and sciences and the arts falls at the bottom of the hierarchy. Our families tell us that we shouldn't be creative when we are told that we can't be artists when we grow up. We tell ourselves that we can't be creative when we abandon what we are most passionate about. Creativity of all kinds breeds innovation. And it is the innovative thinkers of this world that have the capacity to rebuild our communities to be the thriving spaces where each individual feels empowered in their own creative ability to make the meaningful change that they'd like to see in their communities. Youth are not only the next generation of leaders, we are and can be today, right now. We can make a choice in solidarity. We can choose to be creative and to encourage our communities to do the same. The only reason change has ever occurred on this planet, and the only reason it will, is due to passionately creative people. So to explore a few of these ideas that uh, 
Tuhi and I have been talking about. We have created a metaphorical puzzle of sorts. Four pieces, four questions that address some of these issues. So the first question that we're going to address is where can we find our creative selves? This is a difficult question because it asks us to be vulnerable in our own skin and be comfortable with who we are. But we need to figure out what we're good at, what are our creative abilities, and what are our strengths. This is a different process for different people, but a good place to start is by asking, when do I feel most comfortable being myself? So for me, that was when I was dancing. When I was in the studio with the music behind me, I just let go of all of the stressors in my world and I just danced. Maybe it was something about the movement, about connecting my body to my mind that allowed my creativity to just flow. Whatever it was, I got some of my best ideas when I was dancing. Other people express their creativity through writing. Some people use their hands to create things to express their ideas. These are all examples of outlets actions that we can take to share our creativity with others. Which brings us to our second puzzle piece and our second question, which is, what are the problems around me that require my attention, that require my newfound creativity? Everyone here today comes from a different neighborhood, am I right? Tahia's neighborhood is very different from my neighborhood. I'd like to invite you all now to take a few seconds and envision your community. Now this could be your workplace, this could be your school, may that be a middle school, a high school, your university. What do you love about this community? What don't you love? Is there anything you'd wish to change about this community? By asking critical questions, we're creating space to make an impact. When I was in high school, my friends and I realized that bullying was a huge issue. And we loved our school and wanted to make sure that it remained a bully-free, safe, and inclusive environment. So we started a mural project where students were able to paint pictures of what they envisioned to be a bully-free school. We identified our community, which was our school. We asked critical questions and identified a problem, which was bullying. And then we took action. But the mural project didn't happen overnight. We needed help. And thus, we must begin to find our resources which is our third puzzle piece and our third question, and ask the question, how can I find the support to make these changes in my community? Dahi and I both know how hard it is to ask for help. When I was in high school, I was terrified to ask my math teacher for help when I didn't understand a concept, because I thought that meant that I wasn't smart enough. But on the contrary, asking for help means that you have a great understanding of what you are capable of and what you need a little extra assistance with. After all, we are all only human and we're not great at everything, nor can we accomplish everything. But, an emphasis on the but, we are all fantastic at something. So a few examples of people in our community that we often forget about that can be fantastic uh, resources to you are people like teachers people like counselors, coaches, sports coaches, librarians, may that be at a, like your local community library or your school library. And more often than not, it can be the person sitting right next to you right now. So make sure you introduce yourself by the end of this talk. You know, have no idea what can happen. I wanna stress to you the importance of making this first contact because more often than not, these people will connect you with even further resources and support networks that you had no idea were available to you until now. So, now that we have found our creative voice, we have identified a problem, we've asked for help, we can come to fit the final piece together, which is, how can I activate my creativity? This part, this is the fun part. The most important part to activating our creativity is realizing that we're one part of a larger puzzle. Because we each have our own strengths, we depend on each other to come together as a community. The theme of today's event is CIA, and A is an important letter at Artquake, not only because it's the first letter of our name, but because A stands for action. No change maker in history has ever created a lasting impact without being the catalyst for change, by taking an action. More importantly, no change maker in history has ever created that change alone. So a local youth example, K-12 
Kim Villagante, um, we'll show a picture of her, there she is, um, is a great example of this. She, is, she found her creative voice through spoken word and music. As a very accomplished singer-songwriter right here in Vancouver, she identified a problem in her community, which was gender inequality. Now she knew she couldn't tackle this huge problem all by herself, so she enlisted the help of fellow peers, and together they hosted an event called When Women Speak. This live performance art event celebrated women-identified singers and poets and gave them the platform to speak up and speak out against gender inequality in the arts. Kim's story is the perfect example of a completed puzzle. Yannick and I believe that everyone here today and everyone outside these doors are creative. We live in a time where we are deeply connected, which means that the issues that affect me also affect you. But this connection enables us to come together as a community. And when we bring our cr creative skills together, we become innovative thinkers. And innovation rooted in creativity is what will lead us forward towards a world that is happier, healthier, and just. We hope that you all are up for the challenge. And we invite you to join us in moving forward. Thank you.